fractions of a group. We've been discussing fractions in the last few videos, and we're going to continue on here. Did you know that a fraction can name part of a group, and sometimes it can name more than a whole group? Well, let's take a look at this thing I've made here. Okay? Zach and Emma each have a collection of marbles. What fraction of their collections are blue? So here's Zach's marbles. Okay, let's move in on them. He's got one, two, three blue marbles. Okay, three are blue, because that's what it's asking. In Emma's, how many are blue? Just one, two are blue right here, but hers are in bags, so they're in groups. So let's take a look at Zach's first before we get into this. So Zach's got three blue marbles. Number of blue marbles, three. Total number of marbles is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The top is the numerator, the bottom is the denominator. So Zach's three eighths of his marbles are blue. Okay? Three eighths are blue. Let's look at Emma's bags here. How many bags of blue marbles does she have? She's got one bag with two blue marbles in it, but it says bag, so she's got one bag. What's the total number of bags that she has? She has one, two, three, four bags. So one-fourth of Emma's marbles are blue because there's one bag that's blue and there's a total of four bags. Do you see how we did that? It could either be how much of a group or how many in that particular group. I know it's very, very confusing. These are grouped together. We didn't count the blue marbles in the bag. We counted the bags. See, that was the group. These are all separate. So we just counted the actual blue marbles. If we wanted to count the actual blue marbles for Emma, she would have two eighths because she would have these two blue marbles and there's a total of eight. See that? So here's a little tricky trick that comes in now. It says that she has one-fourth when we did it this way. Did you know that two-eighths is equal to one-fourth? Two goes into eight four times. Two times four is eight. So there's one of them here and four of them here. If we were going by twos, there would be one two here, there's the one, and four twos here, four. Two-eighths is equal to one-fourth. That's another equivalent fraction. Those are two different fractions that are equal to each other. Okay? So, let's take a look at this one. If you needed to write a fraction for the red part of this group, we've got two blue balloons, two red balloons, and two purple balloons. What part of the group is red? How many parts are red? There's one, two, three parts. Okay, there's three groups. All right, so we know there's three groups. How many groups have red? Just one, the center one. So one-third of these groups have red balloons in them. So now let's look at it Zach's marble way. What's the total number of balloons? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many of these six balloons are red? Two. Two-sixths is equal to one-third. So if we're going by twos, there's one here, and there's three twos inside of a six, because two times three is six. So there's one here and three here, if we're talking about the number two. There's one 
in the top and 3 in the bottom. So 2 6 is equal to 1 3rd. They're equivalent fractions. All right, let's take a look. We've got muffin pans, and there's six muffins here and six muffins here, okay? What is the total number of muffins? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well, two times six is twelve, so that makes sense. So we got twelve muffins, but how many pans? There's only one, two pans. So, this is an improper fraction, like we talked about in our last video. The top, the numerator, is bigger than the bottom, the denominator. Let me make this two a little better. There's 12 muffins in two pans. Now, I've told you before that the line coming down the middle is called the dividing line. That's the numerator, that's the denominator, and this is the dividing line. So, we're going to ask ourselves how many times 2 can fit into the 12. You only do this with an improper fraction, okay? It's the only time you do this because you want to make the fraction proper again. Okay? When the top is bigger than the bottom, it's improper. That means it's not right. It's messed up, sort of, okay? So in order to make it proper again, to make it the way a fraction should look, where the top is little and the bottom is bigger, we need to say, how many times can 2 fit into 12? 2 times what is 12? Mmm, 2 times 6 is 12. So there's 6 of them in here. So 12 halves, which is how you would read this, 12 halves, okay, 12 halves is equal to 6. No fraction at all. We turned it into a whole number. Its fraction is 12 halves, but 12 halves equivalent is 6. And now it's not an improper fraction anymore. Does this make sense to you? I hope so. I hope I'm, tr I'm helping you. Follow along with me, and we're going to get through these fractions. I have a fractions folder playlist that has lots of fraction stuff in it. You might want to check that out. But I'll see you next video, and we'll keep up with these fractions. Bye.